Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you a new EVF that I've been testing out and that I want to share with you guys. Uh, if you've been watching my previous reviews of different EVFs I've done, then this might actually look very uh, familiar with you, to you because uh, this is uh, basically, I, I guess, sort of like the next generation of uh, uh, one of the favorite of mine uh, EVFs from JTZ. Uh, and this is basically looks like JTZ because even set up here is Zakudo powered by JTZ. Looks like the two companies, the two kings of EVFs, uh, have, have basically come together to create this one, the Chameleon EVF. And it's a really cool product. Uh, I'm gonna kind of talk about the, the the good things and then maybe not, not the not so good things. But uh, overall, if you want to just know my opinion, it's a great EVF. If you're looking for an EVF that's uh, basically going to give you pretty much all the functionality. Uh, there's really only like two small complaints that I have about this. Just a quick set of recap. If you've watched my previous set of reviews or comparison of different EVFs that I've done, you, you, you'll you probably remember that I uh, like I loved the JTZ one. I loved, you know, a lot of these features. But when it came to uh, just the quality, the quality of build, um, the software, all that stuff, Zakuda was the best. The problem for me with that EVF was uh, it was uh, only basically SDI. And for me, obviously, if I'm going to invest money in an EVF, I want something that, that I can use with multiple cameras. So SDI is great when I'm working with, you know, with an Airy camera or my Ursa cameras. Uh, or, you know, I also sometimes would like to be able to connect it to uh, my Blackmagic Packet cameras. Well, this thing is SDI. But it also has a HDMI here uh, support. And that's a really cool thing about this EVF right away, I'll tell you. Uh, before I get into the maybe the specs, uh, otherwise, let me just kind of tell you the build quality. So it has been improved. Uh, the, the original JTZ kind of you know, the EVF that this kind of evolved from was also an, you know, well built and all that stuff. But this just feels better than the adapter here. Uh, just again just works smoothly um, everything about it I love this for example this little flap here that again you can you know take it away if, you, if you're actually looking through it but the second you step away it automatically will basically cover your EVF so you don't burn the uh, the, the optics inside there uh, it has your standard area rosette here mounts connections uh, this thing was really nice to navigate the menu or access the shortcut so you have basically uh, four shortcuts depending if you go up down left and right but then if you press down you enter the menu and then this way you can easily navigate while you're looking into the avf all the settings about it or you know change the display and things like that on the bottom like i said you have your sda connection and then you have your uh, power connection and then here you have your hdmi connection and then you also have a usb type c connection for like firmware upgrades and that kind of stuff uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, otherwise that's it. It is, it feels sturdy. It's like all, you know, I think it's like aluminum, uh, but it, you know, it's fairly lightweight. I mean, it is not the lightest, but uh, it is a, a an EVF after all. Uh, but it is, uh, it feels just well built, like it feels sturdy. Uh, I'm gonna also talk about some of these other things here that I got from Zakudo. These are some of the mounts that I got for this. Which, when you buy the EVF, you can obviously buy it just by itself, or you can buy it with all these accessories. Um, so yeah, if, I love the build quality. I love the design of it, like all these little things about it. And like I said, I really love the fact that finally Zakudo has an EVF that's not just SDI, that also has the HDMI. Not only that, but I mean, this is pretty much in a way, in almost every way, except two, which I'll get to, in almost every way, this is better than the Gradical. What I mean by that is resolution's higher. This is full 1080p uh, display. The Gradical is, you know, is lower than that. This is, I believe, 1280. Um, this is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. One thing maybe I liked about the Gradical is the fact that it had that square sort of aspect ratio that below you can see, you know, you, you can basically see unobstructed what your camera is seeing and below you have all the information and things like that. This one kind of overlays the information, but again, it's not a problem because you can quickly toggle on and off all that stuff. So, so it's, it's again, it's not a problem. Uh, it's just, if you were to ask me my preference, it is kind of having that stuff down below. Uh, that's just me personally. Uh, but anyways, like I said, in every way, it has all the features of the Gradical and, and including the better resolution. It actually can support higher resolutions coming in. So, for example, uh, through the HDMI, I, I think, and I think also through the SDI. I'm not sure about that, but I know through the HDMI, 
uh, it will accept uh, 4K you know, DCI or 4K you know, UHD resolutions, which is really nice. And it allows you actually four to one zooms. So you can actually see pixel to pixel kind of what, you know, what you're seeing there at 4K. Um, so I like that it has an amorphic mode, you know, de squeeze various aspect ratios, different frame guides. I mean, it's got everything. It's got all the features that you want. Um, and, and because of that, like I said, and, and the image quality at the end of the day, it's, it's a beautiful 1080p display, 24 bit, 10,000, I believe, uh, to one contrast ratio. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's an insane display. So it looks really, really beautiful. Uh, and you're seeing all the details. Um, so yeah, in that sense, it's great. I guess my only thing that I wish they added, and, and I think they can add it because it just sort of seems it's like the software is two things that are missing from this that the graticle has, uh, or maybe they, I don't know, maybe I could have won at it. I have no idea. You guys have to ask them, but, uh, the thing that I wish they would put on this, that their, their graticle one EVF has is the, uh, the proper waveform and, uh, a vector scope. You know, there's other ways like, you know, focus speaking, all that stuff, false colors, all that stuff you have in here. You have uh, the histogram, but still, like if you're working as a cinematographer, you really do need, you know, vector scope, maybe not all that much, but still, it's always nice to have it. But the waveform, I think, is a, is, is a must. And I wish that they would have this because they have it on the graticles. Again, those are the only things. And maybe, maybe they'll update it. We'll see. Uh, but otherwise, if you, for example, don't care about those two things and you're just looking for a good solid EVF, uh, definitely this is the one to, to look at. Uh, and like I said, personally, what I like about this is that I can now use this with my cinema cameras, uh, you know, to the proper SDI connections. But then even, you know, I end up using this with my, like my Blackmagic packet cameras because, uh, those only have HDMI out and this accepts that and it's great. You can see again. It just allows you to work, you know, outside. And in case you're wondering why would you need to buy this if you can buy a monitor or maybe you just want to use the, the screen you know, on the back of your cameras. Uh, the reason is because, well, first of all, it's more, you know, you can articulate it usually the most of these screens. But this is mainly for, like, if you're working on an actual film set, uh, a lot of times if you're working, especially on an indie set where it's a closed space, you don't want to have a big, uh, you know, big screen that puts out a lot of light when you're working, especially in low light uh, settings. So that's one thing. But then if you're filming outside and really bright sunlight and like really, really, you know, uh, harsh conditions where it's just difficult to see any monitor screen out there, again, EVFs, you look in there and you'll always see perfectly exactly what your camera is capturing. So I think it's a must kind of tool for any serious cinematographer. Get yourself an EVF. Now quickly, actually, before I finish up, I'm going to talk about some of these other things I have up here. One thing you probably want to really get with this, uh, I would suggest you do, is uh, get there. Basically, you have these new cables now that are uh, the power cable and then the HDMI or you can get the SDI version kind of embedded together. I just like it. And then what I really love is that uh, they give you this uh, PTAP basically connection with this little here, this little switch. Such a simple thing, but it just, just comes in so in handy because otherwise uh, you the only way to power it is, is through this here connection. So yeah, you power this there, then obviously you would plug in your HDMI cable and then the, on the other end you plug uh, to your camera the HDMI and then this to your, your, um, you know, your battery. Uh, so that's a great way basically of keeping everything kind of nice and neat because it's all together and just in one cable. Uh, so that's a, a must have accessory. And then otherwise, you know, I, I got their here, their mount uh, for, for their EVFs, which this will work with any EVF, whether theirs or other companies. And it's going to work pretty much on any camera. Great products. I mean, Zakura always has made these kind of different uh, camera mounts, accessories, cages, those things, they're, they're, they're great at it. Only thing I'll tell you, and that's kind of my screw up, is when you get these, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but I still left some of this. When you get these, uh, the, these, what they do is, for example, in Zakuto, is they make these area reset connections. They're nice and, you know, sturdy, but at the same time, you have always here this kind of uh, thumb screw that lets you adjust the friction. So you can still rotate it, you know, and depending on how you have this EVF mounted. Uh, it just allows your articulation, you know, it feels sturdy, but then if you want it, you can obviously change the, the angle of it and it's just smooth. So they kind of grease those joints, I guess, there. And I got this brand new. I did not know about this. 
and I just kind of threw it in my camera bag and first of all I got my camera bag a little dirty because some of that grease was coming out and also once you get it on your hands it's just kind of hard to to get it off and you can easily get it on your other camera gear so wipe that all off like basically when you when you're going to be starting to use it or before you put it in your camera bag that's one tip but otherwise yeah it's like a nice thing here because you can adjust the length of it uh and you have here and um, the airy you know like i said resets the connection here here you have the 15 millimeter rods so you can connect this however way you want on your rig and then they also sell you these things so they have uh this connection here for the 15 millimeter rod so that's usually how i would use it uh with like my cinema cameras with the black magic cameras because i actually used uh i have a cage under that has a nato reel uh, they have this one here that's nato reel and then has a 15 millimeter rod so i would just slide this on top and then i would attach this and that le lets me then to attach my evf here so that's a great way of attaching it and if you for example let's say have a camera or a cage that doesn't have uh, NATO rail then again Zakuda has a ton of these cool little things to kind of build your own rigs but yeah they have this NATO rail that you can get uh, it's pretty cheap and again you just mount it to any cage out there that you have uh, and that will allow you to mount this EVF or any of their other EVFs or any EVF really out that's out there on the market or even a monitor you can mount, use this to mount to anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did uh, and you want to find out more info uh, about for example some of the sales on this EVF or some of the other EVFs or look at the, my previous comparison where I looked at other EVFs that have you know alongside the, the Zakudo Graticle then uh, as always you'll find all of that and more on my website at tomantosfilms.com while there don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter uh, so that you stay up to date when I release these new videos uh, and also, you know, I might actually be doing some of these giveaways, which I'm no longer doing on my YouTube channel or my other social media. But if you follow me on my website, you subscribe to my newsletter, then again, if I'm doing a meetup or things like that, and I might be giving away some of the extra gear that I have lying around here in my studio, uh, then you guys might be one of the lucky ones. So anyways, as always, subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, that's it. My name is Tom, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.